Oh shoot, it's not. Um, yeah, so if you're anything like us, which you probably are because you're subscribed, or maybe you're not, then you're probably trying to save some money anywhere you can so you can put it towards things that actually matter. This is why I found myself sleeping in an airport. Again. Okay, so this time I found a super cheap flight from Paris to Los Angeles. Mm, just one little thing. Yeah. With a 12 hour overnight layover in Copenhagen airport. Cue the Snapchat. Er, okay, pit stuff everybody. So I was thinking, <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep in the airport where I want to. Let me tell you what happened. Oh, this is so quiet. Okay, so if you're not checking a bag, you can sleep in the terminal. It's a lot comfier there. Like, uh, that's what I was planning to do. Then they made me check my bag. And since my flight is in 12 hours, um, I had to go get my bag. So basically now I'm stuck in the departures area, which is not comfy. Ooh. So I'm gonna sleep right there. And it's not <laughs> possible to go through security to get in the terminal where it's comfy mm -hmm. because no one's working security because nope. it's 1 a.m. Yep. It's 1 a.m., right? Yeah. Okay, security's giving me this eye as if there aren't thousands of people <laughs> over there already sleeping. Maybe if I just go to sleep, he'll like, let me be. Okay, good night, bye. You did. Okay, let me explain a little bit more clearly. I've slept in airports before, many times. This time was different though. I was going from Paris to Los Angeles with a stopover in Copenhagen. So because I had checked a bag in Paris, I was thinking, oh, it's just gonna go to my destination no matter how many stops that I have. Didn't work that way. They would not let me check my bag from Paris to Los Angeles because there was no one in Copenhagen overnight to transfer. For it. This is a problem, and here's why. When I landed in Copenhagen, I had to then go get my bag. When you go get your bag, you leave the terminal. The terminal's where it's so comfy. Comfy. I get the departures, and departures just like me, because anyone could be in departures. You can walk in with your mom, and you can sleep there all night if you want to, and some people do. Now, because it's overnight, nobody's working for me to check back in for my flight, and also, you're not technically allowed to check back in for your flight until only a few hours before. See, this is where most people would book a hotel, but I'm trying to save 50 to 150 $50, so no. So now I'm stuck in the departures area. Oh, you know what? I think there's a clip. All right, so it's the morning after. <laughs> I already checked in, dropped off my bag, argued with the travel agent, cause you know. And apparently I made it to LA because... Jeez. Damon, Damon. You know I don't have to include your clips. Yeah, but you kind of need these clips because if you didn't have these clips, then you'd have nothing to cut back and forth to. Yeah, but see, what's funny is like I'm here and you're there, which is like past, present. So right now is the present, so I can actually edit the past. Why are you acting like you're not gonna put these in the video? No, I know I'm not gonna film something and not put it in the video. Are you kidding? I'm not gonna waste my time. Okay, can we be done with this? Back to like real time. I like, mean, this gum. I gotta spit this gum out. Dang it! Hate when that happens. No, for real, last night was not bad at all. You find a bench, you pack a neck pillow, you pack a big granny sweater, and you just saved yourself at least $50. Okay, let's get this started. If you're trying to sleep in the airport overnight, here's what you do. If you're 16 or under, you lucky because you get to be a part of the UNAM room, which is the unaccompanied minors room. I did it when I was 16 and traveling to Barcelona alone. I got meal vouchers, I got my own little couch, and I also had 24 seven supervision. Okay, if you're not checking a bag, this is the best position you could be in because once you get off your flight and you're stuck in the the airport at least you're stuck in the terminal where you have food you have big couches and benches without the little dividers in between the seats you're good you're also good because if you do want to leave the airport and go walk around outside or go to the city center all you have to do when you come back is just go through security if you do check a bag you're probably gonna have to go get it during your transfer if it's an overnight one because no one's there to take it from one plane to another. I mean they should be that's their job I guess luggage can't stay there overnight then you're going to have to sleep overnight in the departures area and then re check in again for your flight hours later. No matter which one you do, make sure to always have your boarding pass or your flight itinerary because there will be a security guard and he will come around and he will ask for it. And if you don't have official proof, he gonna kick you out. And I watched that happen many, many times. Also download that one app called Gate Guru because it'll tell you which terminals the comfiest or which coffee shop opens up the earliest or which bathrooms the grossest. All essential information that you need to know if you're sleeping overnight in an airport. Ooh, another tip before my camera dies. If you're staying in an airport where Wi-Fi is limited, make sure to try to position yourself near a presidential lounge or like one of those flyer lounges, they'll probably have free Wi-Fi. Also, pack a nice toothbrush, like a $4, $5 toothbrush. I'm not talking those cheap ones from the grocery store. Okay, now my camera's really gonna die. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more travel tips. Write a comment below if you've ever slept in an airport, which one, and what'd you do, and what should everyone else watching know, and we'll see you in the next video. Boom! All right, everybody, if you like this video, you're gonna like the other two to my left. Make sure to click those, make sure to subscribe, make sure to click this video, like, and then goodbye. I'm finally home. Dame is on. Just kidding, no one's actually here. My bed? Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? Actually, maybe I shouldn't lay on my bed with these dirty clothes. Okay, got two things to report. One,
Our plants are almost dead. I'm surprised. And then number two. Okay, <clears throat> second thing to report. This one's a little bit fishy. I need you guys' help. Because I know you guys are like low-key detectives. It's been 27 days since I've been home. It's also been 27 days since Joe Franco has been home too. First of all, moment of silence for Joe Franco. She's back from Cuba, but she dropped her phone in water. So, right, 27 days. This is what I come home to. Let me just move this. Let me just move this. Yeah, one piece of paper. One paper. Now, this is a little bit fishy because neither Joe nor I have been home for 27 days. We have subscriptions. We have bills that we haven't paid. <laughs> like, where? Yeah, and I bet it's you, neighbors. You know, I got the good magazine subscriptions. Okay, uh, it's time for me to go to sleep. You know, jet lag, and I'm done.